Join us on Canterbury Music every Wednesday night at 7.30 on CTV or head to the CTV website or our Facebook page for all the episodes on demand. Welcome back to Canterbury Music, where we're all about Canterbury music and Canterbury musicians. And on that note, I would like to welcome Hugh. Welcome, Hugh. Thank you. Thank now, you very much for having me here. That's all right. Now, you are a former student of the Pittman National Junior Academy um, of Music, yep. and you play the flute. Yes. Tell us, the flute. Why the flute? Uh, that's a very, very good question. Um, I think that um, I started it quite young in my flute, at my class teacher at school played the flute and so did several of my friends and um, so it was just kind of around me and then my dad used to play the flute as well though he hasn't played it for years and he had flutes lying around the house which I eventually discovered um, and I discovered that I could make a sound on one and then I thought well can I have lessons please and that's kind of how it went yeah yeah so so um, was there never any other instrument that you were sort of interested in because it sort of seems to be all lined up for you pretty well <laughs> to get into into that side of it yeah that's true um, I don't have any memory of this but mum tells me that she tried to get me to start the piano when I was a bit younger and that I was quite clear that that's not what I wanted to do but eventually I did pick it up um, and I enjoy doing that although it's it's really a sideline thing and I do it just for fun yeah yeah so um the basics of the flute I mean when you mm -hmm. see people playing it's it's extraordinary it's amazing how hard is it just to pick up the basics let alone get to a very high level um, I'm, I'm not sure if I know quite what the answer to that question is I think perhaps it depends a bit on the player um, I don't know if you've ever tried blowing across the top of a bottle to get a sound that's really the most basic thing it's not that hard to do um, after that it just takes a lot of work to refine um, the sound, uh, especially in the last well, year or two. I've had a number of lessons with people um, and have been working on the sound a lot. And that, that does take a bit more work. I mean, it's, you can get a sound easy enough, but after that, trying to get a nice sound. As my teacher always says, the, uh, the flute is the easiest instrument to play badly. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, so you're, you're a former student of the Pittman National Junior Academy of Music. Mm -hmm. Now, what, 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 are your, what are your ventures now? You're at university? Uh, yes, yes. Um, so I've been, oh well, yeah, not quite maybe. Uh, the, the, I've been at university for two years. I've, I've been doing a performance degree, uh, BMARS, and um, I decided at the end of the last year that I needed to um, move on to get the kind of stimulation that I needed to, to keep on doing what I'm doing. So um, later this year, I'm going to be heading across to London to study at the Royal Academy of Music, which is wow. really, really thrilling. Um, but yeah, the, the academy and then at the university has given me the grounding that's made it possible for me to do that. So yeah. That's good, because everybody does need to start somewhere. You need that foundation and a solid exactly. foundation and, uh, and having people around you to influence you and help build on, on what you know you want mm -hmm. to do is, is the key to that. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, I was in the, how long was I in the academy for? Four or five years, I think. And like I say, they, they really gave me a good grounding because I had access to um, a very good flute teacher, but also, um, they have a chamber music program, and so I was able to learn chamber music skills um, from tutors, and also lots of performance opportunities. I mean, there are musicians, I mean, musician music can be done in so many different ways, I think, but if you want to be a performer, then you need opportunities to perform, um, and so having those opportunities has been really, really great. That's awesome. Well, well, thank you very much for joining us on the show, Hugh, and, and all the best for the future. Of course, heading overseas, it's, you know, it's what everybody wants to do. You know, as much as they love it here, they definitely want to. So all the best for the future. Thank you very much. That's all right. Now, we're going to check out Hugh playing the flute.
Join us on Canterbury Music every Wednesday night at 7.30 on CTV or head to the CTV website or our Facebook page for all the episodes on demand.